we doing? Welcome to Good Works Tractors. Today we are going to be doing some driveway expansion. We did just a, a small section to the road here, just kind of revamped that. It was already done previously, but it seemed to stop there. And there's kind of just a dirt two track that goes all the way back to our barn, kind of meanders around. But we are going to take this section and prep it to connect over to our main asphalt driveway over there. And then probably a phase three, I guess I'd call it, going all the way back to the bar and way at the back of the property. And we don't have a big dozer, but we do have a pretty good sized skid steer here, the John Deere 333G. And you could do something smaller, but we've got this Roto Rake from Reist Industries out here. Did a feature video about it previously. You can take a look at that and get to know this piece of equipment better. It's going to be our first time using this piece of equipment, and we've got several different projects to tackle with it. I thought it could be a good application to kind of break up this hard pan, work up this topsoil before we strip it out we can repurpose that topsoil somewhere else later on down the road and when we put this gravel down we used oh what we what did we use 21 AA I think that's what we used there 21 AA cleans up nice very little clay content in it but we're gonna put down fabric underneath the rest of this we didn't do this in our last road project or driveway project a lot of you guys think we should have it's pretty expensive to do but it can help uh, keep the stone from sinking down in potentially help with the weeds as well so we're going to give that a shot and we'll have a strip here to kind of maybe do a long-term test and see how how the weed growth does through it how well the compaction how the uh, if it sinks down that kind of thing comparing to with and without road fabric too so maybe a year or two from now we'll have an update on that for you so hit that subscribe button maybe you'll enjoy our videos and stick around for that long too so it's time to get to work. I'm excited to try it out. We are a dealer for this piece of equipment and all sorts of stuff for skid steers and tractors as well for the front end loaders, three point hitches. So check us out at goodworktractors.com. We sell and ship all over the country. Oh, but one thing, this silver bar here, this bracket, we can pop it out and these front wheels will pivot and kind of float. And I honestly, I can't decide if, if I want that to happen or not. So I'm gonna try it locked like it is right now and see what I think. And, and if I don't like it, maybe I'll take that out and, and give that a shot too.
right, so we just did one down and back pass, and the first thing that I notice is, well, there's a bit of a learning curve, and that's okay. I mean, it only took 10 minutes to go down and back, but sometimes I like those tools I can just immediately figure out, right? So this thing has a lot going on with, uh, you know, the regular tilt and, and roll like you would have on a loader, and um, then you've got the angling with the cylinder and the tilting with the cylinder and the floating front wheels and all sorts of stuff that are at play and then you have the contour of the ground too as you're going along well and you know it's just going to take a little bit of time a little bit playing around i think to figure out the right combination of settings for the job at hand here and we'll get there you know but it's it does do an amazing job now uh, yeah, well there's something funny going on with my skid steer and and we know that there's a, a high speed hydraulic line that has to get replaced that's got a, a leak in it but it just feels like it's lacking power. This is a 333G. It's a 100 horsepower skid steer. It should not lack power at all. It, uh, it, it bound up this rake a handful of times going down there. I'm not going that fast. I feel like it's a, a speed it should be able to handle, but it just doesn't feel as powerful as it should. So the field tech's gonna come out here later this week too and uh, put that new high speed line on that had the leak in it. And I might have them sit in here and play around and see what they think too. It's one of those things you know i haven't used this attachment on here before but i've used this skid steer a lot and it's got power for days and so something just doesn't seem quite right um i did run it out of def like completely empty and i know that they will derate the longer that you use them without def but i thought that it once you added def it would go back to its normal uh 100 power there so i don't know if that has anything to do with it or not and maybe that tech can tell me when he comes back out this week too but Regardless, we're gonna get back to work, keep on doing this lane here. It's crazy how it looks like topsoil now. So this is the kind of stuff we need to strip out because all this has organic matter in it, it'll decompose. And if you put rock right on top of here, your, your gravel right on top is just gonna end up sinking down and, and you're just gonna waste it. You're gonna have to do it all over again. So we wanna get this stuff stripped out before we put down our stone. Now this is not going down very far right now, like an inch, inch and a half, just kind of picking at that top layer. So. Um, well, it makes sense. The carbide teeth are only an inch and a half or two inches long, something like that. So um, we need to get that, that sod worked up and out of here, though. That's going to make this topsoil much more usable later on. So the more we can grind that up and grind through it, the, the happier I'm going to be. Folks, we are proud to be sponsored by RimGuard Solutions, a ballast weight solution for your tractor. You know I'm all about safety, and this is just a perfect match. Liquid ballast is one of the most cost-effective solutions. In fact, there's liquid ballast on this tractor right now, right inside these rear tires. So it's hidden, it's out of the way, it gives you that extra stability you need when you're using the front end loader, it gives you safety to keep those rear wheels planted on the ground, and it gives you traction when you need it. Well, why RimGuard? It is a natural product that is gonna be safe around animals and livestock in case you get a puncture and it leaks out. That means it's also gonna be safe on your wheels as well. You know the old calcium chloride that'll rust those things out and ruin them. It is also the heaviest natural ballast weight on the market today and the most convenient, which is available at over a thousand dealers nationwide. So head on over to rimguardsolutions.com to find a dealer near you. Rake excels at pulverizing soil, leveling and finish grading topsoil and gravel, removing debris, creating ditches and swales, and even scarifying ice in the winter. The Roto Rake is a hydraulically driven power rake with features such as a dual motor design, 
25 degree angle and 28 degree tilt and a bi-directional motor. With features like that, you can rest assured the rotor rake will give you a quality result. All right, so four or five total passes down and back and my first thoughts are when I see the finished results here is that this would be an amazing tool for a lawn renovation and I kind of want to do a lawn renovation just to, just to use this. I mean, it's incredible how it can just level and smooth everything out really, really well. Now the learning curve did get shorter over time and uh, the float function on the loader actually really helped out a lot too. Uh, those wings that stick out to the side, I was being kind of lazy and if I wasn't, I would have probably got out and squared those up and not let them stick out so far. Um, they did tend to treat it kind of like a grater box, which is what it's supposed to do. And so it kind of grated in and brought in more material. And and again, I, I feel like my skid steer is not completely healthy. It's not 100% right now. Something goofy going on because it bogged down a, a, a few too many times. Didn't feel like it was spinning that rotor as fast as I thought it should. Um, but regardless, the results overall were pretty good. If we were just, if we weren't filming and just doing this, it's probably 30, 40 minutes worth of work to do this lane here. Not, not challenging at all. Uh, very easy to do and just kind of playing around with angles, tilting and everything else uh, going on. So really good results for it. Not sure it was the ideal application for what I need to do. Tiller may have been better so I can get down deeper into the, uh, the top soil to get four or five inches at a time off of here and to be able to scoop that out. This took more like an inch or two uh, what you're looking at, but a good look at what this tool is capable of. And I think, as the description says, you know, to, to pulverize soil, uh, to pulverize sod, you know, to, to level and smooth out uh, gravel. You know, I, I think this could be really great if we had a really rough condition lane, um, if we let something get out of control. It could really do a good job bringing it back. And so again, you're looking at a guy who has not had a lot of hours behind one of these tools. So just kind of getting the hang of it and, and feeling it out and, and showing you what it can do, but you can still see the finished results after just a short amount of time. All righty, folks, well, there you have it. First look in action of the rotor rake from Reist. Again, I gotta say it, I, I, don't, I just don't feel like my, my skid steer is 100% healthy right now, but We'll have the tech take a look at that uh, and see if there's, maybe I'm just imagining things, I don't know. Overall, I'm pleased with the results. I don't necessarily think it was the right tool for the job. Um, this is more of kind of the, the, the top couple of inches of work that you're looking at, right? And so the tiller that we've used before would get us down four, five, six inches um, to really um, you know, fluff up all that, that bigger layer of topsoil there to scoop that out and maybe repeat that if we need to, depending on how, how deep it goes. But use your imagination. If you do have a large yard area, construction site that you're trying to kind of almost do a finished grade on, those different kinds of applications is where this kind of a tool really excels. And again, you can get one for your skid steer or your tractor on the three-point hitch. So there's options available. An expensive tool. This is not just for the small project you have going on at home. This is for an ongoing need or very large projects or if you're in the commercial application where you're gonna use it repeatedly. You know, and I'm open to your suggestions as well. If there's tricks or tips or whatever you can provide me or anybody else that plans on getting a tool, something like this, let us know how we can most effectively use it and operate it. I'm not acting like I'm a pro out here. I'm, I'm getting to know this piece of equipment. So if I can shorten my learning curve, you can shorten your learning curve We'll all be better for it. So if you're in the market for a tractor or a skid steer tool, check us out at goodworkstractors.com. Completely free to tag along, so hit that subscribe button right down below. I wanna thank you for taking time out of your day to stop by, and until next time, stay safe. We'll see you soon.